Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20, and welcome to episode 10 of Agrarian Skies with Pahimar. What's up, buddy? Not too much, how about you? Oh, you know, just keeping busy. Oh, I see there's a fake Pahimar here. Yeah, I wouldn't trust this man. No, I would not trust him as well. I wonder how he so got here. So we've been, um, what's up? I wonder how he got there. I don't know. I'm going to assume that Pahimar died. No. No, Pahimar doesn't die. No one should pay attention to the fact that I've lost 24 levels. Yes, that should be completely not even noticed by anyone. Um, I'm doing a little bit of work over here, by the way. I see that. It looks yeah. like you are getting ready to filter off all the extra stuff that doesn't get smelted. I am. In fact, I'm pretty much ready to do that right now. Um, I think I will, actually. Uh, I've got all this stuff in here. Our first round of a test, pretty much. So I just put all this stuff in here. The only thing I didn't allocate space for were these um, cobalt sand here, because we don't really get that from this system yet. Yeah. Yeah. I figure we'll probably need to this. still have a chest on the end of this for all the stuff that doesn't get taken care of. Right. Yeah, we will. Um, basically, what we should have is anything that doesn't get smelted gets routed towards the barrels in the back. And you can see downstairs, I just have a really simple pipe item duct that routes to the back of all those barrels. So in a minute or so, because the items move pretty slow through those pipes, those barrels should start to fill up. And I think I placed one barrel for every item type that we had. So things should start to be filling up. Well, we got the flint there, but I think you did that yourself. Yeah, no, I moved that there myself. I will be back in a minute, guys, once this uh, thing all filters through, and then we'll talk about what I think we want to work with this episode, right? I think so. We got a pretty ambitious plan today. Yeah, we do. We have a lot to do. All right, we'll be back once this thing starts filling. So something like that. Hooray! That looks nice. There we go. That's a uh, look. Yeah. Ooh. Not too shabby? Not too shabby at all. Yeah, we have a lot of stuff. Yeah, I'm just moving over a bunch of the stuff that we had. Cool. Uh, what I'm going to do next is, uh, you've already turned on, we temporarily turned off the sifters because we wanted to make sure that, you know, we weren't sifting anything. So now what we should be collecting in this chest uh, is only um, ores, so either pulverized or broken ores. So anything that's not an ore will automatically get pulled out because it has a place to go. Nice, um, you can see it going. Yeah. Yeah, it's totally cruising. So my next task will be to hook up the ore input, which will basically be over here. So what I'm going to do is set this guy up like this so that it's a last destination so that anything that's not or anything that has a barrel designated for it. So like this stuff, um, it'll fill up over here. So this isn't a perfect system because if one of those barrels fills up, items will start routing into this chest. Um, and also if we start sifting stuff like sand, we should probably start sifting sand at some point. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we'll we'll start needing to handle that in a different way because there's other things. We'll have to add other barrels and et cetera, et cetera. So we'll just have to keep that in mind, Pahimar, if we start adding sand or um, what's one of the things we want to do this episode? Soul sand? Soul sand, yes. 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 So once we start that, we're going to need to be very careful to make sure that we turn off the system, um, designate barrels for stuff, and then, you know, just... Be a little stable with it before we start going too crazy. Now, once we upgrade this to like an AE style system, we can probably be a little bit, you know, more, you know, comfortable with the way things work. But for now, this will do. Man, we have a lot of stuff. Don't we, though? It's amazing we have finish more quests. Yeah. Uh, we have a quest <laughs> to hand in, don't we? We do. What quest did we do? It was the... Expanding the farms. Where all we had to do is make the precision sledgehammer and the upgrade. Right. Yes. We're ready to claim that reward, right? Yep. Which yep. bag are you going to pick? I'll pick the middle one. I'll pick the first one. Okay. By the way, people are saying that sometimes there's items inside the safari nets that we get. Yes, I've heard that too, but I'm kind of scared. Yeah. Do we want to try that? 
Uh, maybe. Well, why don't we go downstairs and try one? Because you have a safari net, I have a safari net, and I have a sword. And oh, a it even net. says on the tooltip it is a mystery. That's right. There's there's some safari nets. Yeah. Let me see what's in my reward bag first, because I actually got I got a I got a greater reward bag. What did you get? I got a good one, and I got purple cloth slabs. I got oh I got some really nice stuff. What'd you get? What'd you get? I got 0 0.36 chance to get this reward. It's a rare reward. Are you ready? I'm ready. What? Yeah. What up? You got Thomcraft? Axe in the stream, hoe of growth, pickaxe of the core? Yeah. And the the this is the flight harness, isn't it? Isn't it? It is. Whoa. Yeah, now give it back. <laughs> All the stuff's enchanted too, it looks like, or at least some of it is. Ho of Growth has uh, Repair 5 on it. That's actually pretty handy. Wow. wow. So does I the Axe of the Stream. I might need to borrow some of that while we're building. I'm just going to put it in tools. I'm just going to lock that. Yeah. Um, the Axe of the Stream is actually even better than the Axe that I made for you. Did you know that? I did know that because, yeah. So that's going to be awesome because we have a couple secret... Um, Rubber trees in there, eh? Uh, I don't know if we want to do that. Do you that think that might like be a little too much? It might be. But the axe of the stream makes the leaves fall faster. It, like, increases the tick rate on the leaves. Oh, yes, I did know that. All right, I'm so, ready to open the safari net. super useful. Oh, okay. Uh, let me come downstairs. I put all my good loot in that chest, so if I die, I won't cry too much. You ready? You ready? Yep. Wow, that's hey, anticlimactic. Yeah, right? Creeper! <laughs> Why is it called Expl <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Sorry, Zeldo. <laughs> hey, I got plastic boots out of that. Neat. Now I can go out there and walk on conveyor belts. Is that what that does? Yeah, it yeah. doesn't allow you to stick. Oh, when did they get added? Uh, I don't know. At least that's what that I heard. I haven't worked on them yet. Oh, it's Mine Factory Loaded Plastic yeah. Boots. Okay. That oh, must, that they look like there. the bronze ones from IC2, right? A little bit, yeah. Yeah, they're a bit more red. What yeah. should we do about Mr. Chicken? I don't know. We have chicken eggs, don't we? Or we have, oh, we yeah, we have loads of chicken eggs. eggs. So let's just let's leave him down here. He can just hang out. Cool. He can be our mascot. Chicken wolf? I will call you Pahamar. Hey. Oh, that's not a good name. <laughs> one's taken. We'll call that one uh, Soren. Yeah. We can call him Soren. Actually, we ha we can make name tags. Yeah, it's true. Oh, you Let's... set up a little um, farm for nether wart? Yep, because we cool. still need to get ourselves a blaze rod, and yeah. we need nether wart to make the dolls. Oh, okay. Should we get um, some soul sand automation going on? Because we need some stuff that soul sand can do, right? Yeah. And I actually I got some soul sand out of the uh, sludge boiler here. Oh, cool. How much is in there right now? Uh, I got seven right now. If you're talking about oh, nether gonna... quartz, I actually did sift off a bunch from last time. Yeah? Yeah, we have almost two stacks of nether quartz inside the chest by the big smoke tree. Oh, wow. We should automate soul sand, though, and get it into oh, the yeah. sifter. Because oh, yeah. that's actually right, a hoarding that's... quest. Is it? Yep. We need yep. something like 10,000. 10,000 what? Soul sand? Yeah. That sounds terrible. That's ridiculous. Yeah. We're going to need to... Automate that for sure. That's, Ooh, that's a large a, number a of green glow shroom. Neat. All right. Uh, so let's see. To make soul sand, we need some of the um, what should I call it? The the mushroom mycelium. Mycelium. mycelium stuff next to a water barrel. Does it have to be touching the water barrel? Yep. Yep. Okay. And I've actually down here got us a little manual setup, so we could probably just right. pipe off of this. We could. Or do you have something else in mind? Um, this will work, but it would probably be a little bit more efficient. Well, it would be technically less efficient for manual setup, but it would be a little bit more efficient for the piping if we put it like three rows, like one row of mycelium in the middle and then barrels on either side. That would probably just be a little bit easier. Uh, your maximum you'd have there is 10, whereas right here we have 16. 
If we were to collapse these into a checkerboard pattern, they'd be far more efficient, space-wise. That would probably be true. Uh, but the thing is that we need access to three sides. Ah. One for water, one for piping items in, and one for piping items out. Fair enough. Fair. And I'm not sure, but when I was testing it in single player, it seemed like I had to pull out of the bottom and pipe items into the top. That's probably correct. That's probably correct. And then water into the sides. So I think that's what we'll probably want to do. So okay. while yes, it is more, it is less efficient. I think it's the way it would probably be the easiest setup for piping and stuff. Well, why don't I grab some more mycelium from the farm? Because I think there was some in there from the sludge boiler. Okay, cool. That's the other nice thing is the sludge boiler will occasionally give us mycelium. Right. And I'll make an aqueous accumulator for us so that we have an infinite supply of water for this stuff. And then we'll be back when we're ready to build it. Sounds good. Okay, see you then, guys. All right, guys, we are back, and I think we're ready to do this. Are you ready, Mr. Pahamar? I'm ready. Cool. So I've got an aqueous accumulator here, ready to go. Um, I'm thinking we'll just kind of put this guy right here. And it doesn't matter terribly how we set this up, but we need to make sure that we have some source blocks. Can you get me uh, two buckets of water? Or, you know, I have one bucket, never mind. Didn't realize I had a bucket on me. Beat you to it. Nice. All right. You know what? Maybe I don't want to do it this way. Maybe I want... Hmm. Yeah, this is fine. This doesn't really matter. All right. I've got fluid ducts. I might have enough. If I don't, it's not that big a deal. Don't. Don't. I know. I'm terrible. There we go. That'll do. Cool. Look, it's working already. Except I don't want these to connect here, just for visual reasons. Perfect. Oh, look, that's exactly enough. I like it. So see, look, it's working already. Perfect. So Then now what we I'm have... thinking is, we'll have an item input chest. So something like this, I guess. Um, yeah, I'll make another one. Let's put it right on top of the aqueous accumulator, and then we'll have item ducts coming out of it. What I've found is if you pipe items into the top of these things, it seems to work. So that's basically what I'll do. Like we're making a little engine here. I know. You know what the problem is? We need to get underneath here. Yep. So I've already got a step ahead of you there. I got a uh, water elevator going down, and uh, I'll uh, I'll make the trip. Okay. Cool. I have a ton of stuff on me, so I wouldn't want to make that trip right now. Yeah, I was just about to make the angry doll, so I'll uh, I'll dump my stuff cool. into a chest there and help you out. Okay. And since I'm going to assume that we're going to expand this mycelium thing, I'll just put the better barrel down here, and then if we have to move it later, we can. You know what? No, because it's so easy to move these things. Yeah, we have the dolly. Yeah, I'll just put the better barrel here. That'll work. So basically what we're going to want to have is a bunch of item ducts underneath these things. And then we'll put all the sand in here. And we'll set this guy to be soul sand. Cool. Palmar is taking care of that. So what I'm going to need while well, I'm waiting, probably a couple levers. Just let me know when you're ready with a uh, basic platform down there for me to come down and take a look at. I just got to come up and get my builder's wand. Oh, okay, cool. How far out does this go? One, two, three, four, five, six. Here, if you want to remove the um, water source. We don't have a way back up. Oh. That's why it's still there. Me... Okay, fair enough. 
Unless you want to hang down here. Nah, I'm good. Living on the edge, man. So what happens when you're in a void world? Constantly. There you go, how's this for a little platform? Perfect. Do you want to build like a little stairwell? Right to the side here, because I need to run these item ducts through the water. Hmm. Uh, let me get some, no, let me that's some ladders, ladders, or... ladders or ladders will work too. Can't remember if I had any in my inventory. I do not. Okay. Do you just want me to move the water? If you want. I want you to go kill some Endermen so we can make some elevators. Well, you keep pulling me on the side <laughs> projects. Hey, I didn't pull you on to nothing. Alright, that should work. Now we need is some levers, which I crafted already. Poke a hole where you want the water elevator back up. Um, Since I imagine once you get down there, like for now, we don't need to worry about it for a while. We don't even need it, to be honest with you. Wow, we've already got 16 soul sand. Well, I, I haven't even automated it yet. That was just from oh. what I picked up. There we go. So the main reason we're getting this soul sand is so we can get nether quartz, so we can start with an AE system. But there'll probably be other reasons as well that we're going to need it. Because I think there's a lot of stuff we can get from sifting soul sand that we're currently not getting. How's that? That's fine, but I'm just going to come up here. <laughs> I just pillared up, that's all. All right, so now all we need is a redstone signal here, and we're good to go. So if we watch now, keep an eye on the uh, blocks here, Bahamar. What we should see is um, them turning into water, basically. Because what's happening is the sand goes in, and instantly the soul sand is pulled out. And then it's refilled with water. And the sand isn't allowed to enter the barrels until it's witch water. So these things are actually pretty intelligent. It won't put the regular sand in. It'll bounce back to the input chest and get back stuffed. Um, but once the um, stuff turns into witch water, then sand's allowed in, so it'll all flow again. Yeah, we just went up to 17. Yeah. Yeah, no, we should, we should start 18. with a lot. So basically put sand in chest, get, you know, soul sand. And Perfect. if you want, I can set up like a pulverizer and the autonomous activator and all that stuff, but... Yeah, for right now, this is good. Yeah, for now, I'm thinking like igneous extruder plus pulverizer, two pulverizers, really. And, you know, this would be fully automated. But for now, we should be cool. Where's that chicken? I don't know. He's poking around somewhere. I thought he came upstairs. Did he? Yeah. Oh, I, I did a little surprise with him. I thought you'd like it. Where is he? Check by the chests. Dun dun dun. Do you see him? <laughs> nice. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> so I think we're in good shape, dude. Yep. So now we got that. Automated going on. soul sand. Um, I might make. I'm thinking I'm going to get some autonomous activators, make three of them, and put them put another um, line here. You know what we should do? What's that? We have one enderpearl right now. Yeah. We should I, get more. I don't know where it went. No, I actually think we should use it for the vacuum hopper for this setup here. For, oh, for this setup? Yep. 
We can. We have to craft one anyway. That's exactly why, because we have a quest for it. Okay. Well, wait, what setup are we going to use? Because the hopper hopper is working perfectly. I like the water flow thing. Yeah, but we're still getting spill. We shouldn't be getting much. I'd like one out of a thousand, maybe. Did you take it? What? The Ender Pearl. No. I have your axe, though. Where did it go? Where did it go? I don't know. You're in charge of these things. You organized all the chests. I think someone stole it. It was probably an Enderman. Yeah, he would want to do that. All right, I'm gonna go work on a mob grinder. Good plan. So you're gonna make a grinder grinder, like from what we call it? Yep, we're gonna make one from Mine Factory Reloaded because we need mob essence for a liquid quest. Cool. Wow, is it yeah, funny that, that you can actually can turn anyway. grinders into micro blocks? Yeah, <laughs> I know. <laughs> Okay, why don't I work on that? Alright, I'm working on Autonomous Activator, and I'm going to start auto-sifting the soul sand. Alright, we'll be back in a few, guys. Alright, guys, we're back. Uh, one thing I want to do, Pyramar, is upgrade this storage upgrade thing. Storage upgrade thing. Yeah, you said we need 10,000 soul sand? Yep. Alright, so why don't I go ahead and get that ready? Sounds like a plan. I am just about ready to start up the grinder. Oh, what you doing? Well, I got an MFR grinder. Okay. And I have a magmatic dynamo. And I upgraded our portable tank to a hardened one, so it keeps more uh, magma in it. Okay. Because I think for right now, we'll just uh, refill this tank and use that to refill the magmatic dynamo until we at least get everything hooked up together. Okay. And uh, so we'll set it up. What do you think? Should we have the grinder on the front of this shaft, or should we have it on the back? Do you have any um, preference? I'd say on the back. Okay. That would be my recommendation. Also, I threw a bunch of soul sand into the autonomous activators right now, so they're currently working through that, and we're getting a bunch of stuff in our chest here. I also disabled nice. the other two types of... Um, Sifters, just so we can see the, all the different types of stuff we're going to have to store for soul sand and whatnot. So let's see, we're going to need... I think there's some wood over here too. Oh goodness, I nearly got thrown off the edge. How'd that happen? Skeletons. Nice. So what we're doing right now, by the way, guys, is something me and Palmar, I think, are playing with a little bit as a new way of doing this style of recording, is where I'm working on one project and he's working on a different one. And as a result, um, there'll be, like, different content across our two channels. So you guys actually have something to watch that's different. Like, you know, if you watch my channel, you'll see some stuff. If you watch his channel, you'll see some other stuff. I don't know if I needed a three-slot upgrade or not, but I made one, so we'll see what happens. So now, basically... You guys should have to go watch Bomar's channel to see what he worked on. If you want. I'd like that. That sounds cool, right? Sounds excellent. Okay, so I'm going to upgrade this better barrel to structural level 3. You need at least a Mark 1 upgrade to apply this. Ah, okay, I did not know that. I thought I could just throw a Mark 2 right on there. I was going to take a while to fill up. What's that, the soul sand? No, the um, hardened portable tank. Our lava gen is pretty lava slow. Gen. I think I'll want to expand that very soon. Go for it, I won't object. The other thing I've done is I've actually already set up uh, some open blocks tanks down below to uh, collect all the mob essence we're going to be getting. Yeah. Since we're going to be getting a lot of it. I think I made more upgrades than I needed to, but we'll see what happens. I'm learning Java right now. Ah, I do need at least three upgrade slots. Cool. Oh, okay, neat. Oh, I get it. Okay. Nice. That's kind of cool. 
So you put one upgrade slot in and it's got one upgrade slot. Then you put uh, the three upgrade slot in it has a total of three, but you need to have the one in there. And then I'll put the storage upgrade times three in. And now uh, this barrel is capable of holding 16,000 soul sand, Bahamar. 16,000? Okay, we're, we're good for a while. Yeah. Well, we needed 10,000, right? So I figured, oh, by the way, I automated the production of sand. Oh, yes. Yeah. Since I'm in the I made it nice and compact, too. Did you see how compact I made it? I was quite proud of this. Indeed. I just tapped into our existing lava supply. It only cost me a few fluid ducts. Put down a uh, magmatic dynamo, which, by the way, one magmatic dynamo produces exactly enough power for two full-speed pulverizers. Nice. Yeah, they each use 40 RF a tick, and the dynamo creates 80. Got a pretty slick setup going on. Yeah, igneous extruder with some cobblestone going in, some trash can to get the excess waste that we don't need. We're actually producing more sand than we're using at the moment, so I'm going to want to throw down a few more barrels um, and a few more mycelium at some point just so that we you know, fully automate this thing. But at the end of the day, what we'll have is a very powerful and totally automated soul sand production, of which we already have. Um, we got like 10 stacks that I just threw into the uh, stuff upstairs, and now we're up to another stack already. Jeez. So we'll let this thing run for a little bit, and we'll have 10,000 of that soul sand in no time. Nice. Yeah. Tank's not quite full, but I'm going to plug it in and see how it goes. Oh, the lava? Yep. Cool. Yeah, it'll be nice once we get some... Should I work on some thermal expansion machines at this point? Yeah, I think that's a good plan. Oh, we're getting mob essence, and we are... Nice. Yeah. I want to come see. Are we getting items? I got it hooked up to. Uh, let me just pop the item duct off for now. It won't grind if there's nowhere to put the items. Well, yeah. if well that's why I popped stuff, the duct off so we can at least see right now, so you can see it's spitting them out. Yeah. Nice, dude. I, I, you might need more grinders in there to be honest with you. Uh, it'll chew away for a while. It'll be fine. Yeah, I'm just wondering if it like that. I think it only kills one mob every so often. I don't know what the time is, maybe a second. Um, and you're creating a lot of mobs there, so you might need more than one to keep up with the production of mobs that you have in your mob trap. Let's just come downstairs and see if I got this stuff coming out right. I probably need to throw some... Uh, uh, we're pretty rich on resources. I'll throw some pneumatic servos in there. Okay. All right, so we've got this stuff going. So here's what we're getting, by the way, from uh, Soul Sand. Tons of nether quartz. Wow. <laughs> uh, I think we're good on nether quartz for a while, buddy. You think so? How's 11 stacks sound? That sounds pretty good. Yeah. Um, and some nether war, a couple of the bushes, ghostwood saplings, all the different saplings from Natura. So basically anything that normally spawns. Ooh, an Ardite and Cobalt. Nice. I should... Uh, Let's see. I'm assuming that I can just throw those right into a smeltery. I can. What I should do is set up... One of these smelteries does three, right? I should set up two more to also do three. And uh, then, then I can uh, have Ardite and Cobalt go into each one of these guys so they also get smelted and turned into blocks. So I also need two more barrels here for that all set up. So I should add to this at some point. But I'm not going to do it yet because, uh, as you guys can see... Ardite and Cobalt is the most rare item that you can possibly get, it looks like, from uh, the the Soul Sand production. Nether Quartz is basically the primary item you get from that. Not bad, though. All right, we should probably do something with that. I'm thinking barrels. So how many barrels are we going to need? Oh, no, I didn't want to turn that on. What'd you do? I flipped the lever. I didn't mean to flip. It won't hurt nothing. Um... All right, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 different types of items from Soul Sand that you get. Wow. Yeah, that's quite a bit. All right, guys, uh, we'll be back in a few minutes once I've decided how I'm going to handle that. I think I'm just going to put them right over here next to all this stuff. All right, guys, so I think we've made really good progress today. What do you think, Mr. Pahamar? I would think so. You got a pretty good barrel yeah. setup going on over there. You got this pretty sweet soul sand set up. And if my eyes do not lie, we are collecting mob essence from our grinder. 
Oh, are we? That's done and working? Yeah, we are at just a little over a barrel, a, a bucket, I should say, of mob essence already. Nice. So we'll probably want to we'll add probably. another grinder up there because there's a lot of mobs. And if yeah, you look in the chest by the grinder, up at all. you should probably be able to see we got some goodies in there. Oh yeah? How do I get down there? No, if you come over to, uh, come to the side close to the tree farm, you should see a chest in the ground. Right. Oh, Have that's look. it? Have a look. Yeah, that's Ooh, where things yeah. are being dumped right now, so we'll get them into barrels. Yeah, barrels is probably good. I, I would say sort everything into barrels, and then anything that doesn't fit into barrels gets avoided into yeah. a trash can or something. Do you see like, some we don't need all these in there? bows. Is there a quest for 10,000 bows? There's not a quest for 10,000 bows. Oh. Because that would be pretty easy to do at this point. It would be. It would be kind of ridiculous inventory-wise, though. Hey, do you want to do a quest before we wrap up? We can do a quest? We can. Can I borrow an enderpearl? They are in the mob chest. Okay, what's that over here? Yep. I don't know what you're doing. Dun, 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 dun. I actually happen to have a hopper laying around. There's obsidian over here. Is there? Nice. I think I know what you're doing. I think I'm done. Ooh. I think we can now hand in. It's automatic. Nice. Oh, which bag? There's four to choose from. I'm going to go with far left. I'm going to go with the second from the left. Okay. I got to have a good bag. I also have a good bag. I got the cake is a lie. I got nether trees, blood saplings, slimy saplings, and amaranth saplings. That's eh, not terrible, but we already have those. Hey, Soren laid an egg. He did. Good job, Soren. Way to go. Uh, we have a vacuum opera now. I'll throw that into miscellaneous general stuff or whatever. Nice. Yeah, it's working out well. I think we've got really good stuff going on. Um, so I should have just sorted all my junk into the barrels. It looks like it sorted correctly. Nice. Um... So I'll just kind of leave all that there. Dyer, we, ha we have another quest we can turn in. Do we? Already? Yeah, the yeah. follow-up to the <laughs> thermal expansion one. Pow uh, powered processing. We just needed to make a pulverizer, and we have, like, eight of them already. Oh. So we get an cool. enchanted diamond hammer and another bag. I'm going to pick the middle bag. I'm going to pick the right bag. Ooh, I got another one of the greater bags. I got an invar shear. I got a spiked sword. It's a plain reward. 1.53% chance. Really? Well, I guess at least writable, stonebound, jagged, skill level clumsy. Okay, I mean, I'll take it, but... And it looks like, Dyer, yeah, like we Dyer. only have four quests left in this chapter. Really? Yeah, we have the brewer. Uh, I think we have to make some dolls. Looks like some of the item ducks, or no, those are... Uh, that looks like redstone ducks. And then yeah. a flux capacitor. Cool. We are getting pretty close to that. Yeah. What's next? Oh, then uh, I think we, should, we need we to go We should probably hoarding. start for the hoarding and yeah. start getting into AE and stuff. Uh, we might also want to start on bees. Uh, do we have to? We have to. Do we really have to? We really have to. It wouldn't be a jaded mod pack without bees. I know. Oh, well. Tons for next time. I guess. What's involved in making a beehive? Artificial hive. Oh, just hay and silk. Okay. That's not too bad. We can handle that. I yep. think we've got the stuff for that. All right, maybe next time. For now, I think it's time to wrap up because it's that point. Uh, so I'm going to turn these things back on, Pahimar, so we can start producing stuff once again. Uh, we won't be getting any soul sand stuff yet. I don't think we need much more soul sand stuff, because there's really nothing it creates for us except maybe the ardite and cobalt pieces. And we have tons of nether quartz, and we can always just throw stacks in it whenever we need. So I'm wow, not going to automate hooking tears. up soul sand. I know, right? Um, I'm, I'm not going to automate hooking up the soul sand. I just want to let it run so we can work towards that 10,000 items thing. And then, you know, as we need it, we can just go grab a stack here and there. Sounds like a plan. All right, buddy. All right, guys. Daryl20 and Pahimar signing off. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And take it easy. Take it easy, guys.